Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we will be discussing basic life support in pediatric advanced cardiac. Basic life support or BLS utilizes CPR and cardiac defibrillation when an automated external defibrillator or AED is available. BLS is the life support method used when there is limited access to advanced interventions such as medications and monitoring devices. In general, BLS is performed until the Emergency Medical Services, EMS, arrives to provide a higher level of care. In every setting, high-quality CPR is the foundation of both BLS and PALS interventions. High-quality CPR gives the child or the infant the greatest chance of survival by providing circulation to the heart, brain, and other organs until return of spontaneous circulation, or ROSC, we will only cover PALS and only briefly describe BLS. All PALS providers are assumed to be able to perform BLS appropriately. It's essential that PALS providers be proficient in BLS first. High quality BLS is the foundations of PALS. So there's some differences in BLS for infants and children. So for children and infants, if two rescuers are available to do CPR, the compression to rate breath ratio is 15 to two. If only one rescuer is available, the ratio is 30 to 2 for all age groups. For infants, which are 0 to 12 months, you should check for the infant's pulse using the brachial artery on the inside of the upper arm, between the infant's elbow and shoulder. Perform compressions on the infant using two fingers, if you're by yourself, or two thumbs, with hands encircling the infant's chest when there's two rescuers. Compression depth should be one-third the chest, so for infants, this is about 1.5 inches. For children which are one year to puberty, and you can distinguish puberty by looking for breast development on females and armpit hair on males, check for the child's using the carotid artery on the side of the neck or femoral pulse on the inner thigh in the crease between the leg and the groin. Perform compressions on a child using one or two hand and chest compressions depending on the size of the child. The compression depth should be at least one third the chest, so for children this is about two inches. If you're the only rescuer at the scene and find an unresponsive infant or child, you should perform CPR for two minutes before you call the EMS or go get an AED. If you witness the cardiac arrest, call EMS and get an AED before starting CPR. For one rescuer BLS for children, if you're alone, tap their shoulder and talk loudly to the child to determine if they're responsive. Then assess if they're breathing. If the child does not respond and is not breathing or is only gasping for breath, yell for help. If someone responds, send the second person to call 911 and get an AED. Feel for the child's carotid pulse on the side of the neck or femoral pulse on the inner thigh in the crease between their leg and groin for no more than 10 seconds. If you cannot feel a pulse or if you're unsure, begin CPR by doing 30 compressions followed by 20 breaths. If you can feel a pulse but the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute, you should begin CPR. This rate is just too slow for a child. After doing CPR for about two minutes, which is usually about five cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths, and help has not arrived, call EMS while staying with the child. The AHA emphasizes that cell phones are available everywhere now, and most have a built-in speakerphone. So get an AED if you know where one is, and call EMS on speakerphone so you can continue performing CPR, or at least be multitasking. Use and follow AED prompts when available while continuing CPR until EMS arrives or until the child's condition normalizes. For two rescuer BLS for children, you're going to want to do the following. Tap their shoulder and talk loudly to the child to determine if they're responsive. Assess their breathing. If the child does not respond and is not breathing or is only gasping for breath, send the second rescuer to call 911 and get an AED. Feel the child's carotid pulse on the side of the neck or femoral pulse on the inner side, thigh in the crease between their leg and groin for no more than 10 seconds. If you cannot feel a pulse or if you're unsure, begin CPR by doing 30 compressions followed by two breaths. If you can feel a pulse but the rate is less than 60 beats per minute, begin CPR. This rate is too slow for a child. When the second rescuer returns, begin CPR by performing 15 compressions by one rescuer and two breaths by the second rescuer. Use and follow AED prompts when available when continuing CPR until EMS arrives, until the child's condition normalizes. For one rescuer BLS for infants, meaning that you're alone with the infant. Tap their shoulder and talk loudly to the infant to determine if they're responsive. Assess if they're breathing. 
If the infant does not respond and they're not breathing, or if they're only gasping, yell for help. If someone responds, send the second rescuer to call EMS and get an AD. Feel for the infant's femoral or brachial pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If you cannot feel a pulse or you're unsure, begin CPR by doing 30 compressions followed by two breaths. If you can feel a pulse but the rate is less than 60 beats per minute, begin CPR as well. The rate is too slow for an infant. To perform CPR on an infant, do the following. Be sure the infant is face up on a hard surface. Using two fingers, perform compressions in the center of the infant's chest. Do not press on the end of the sternum as this can cause injury to the infant. Compression depth should be about 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters and at least 100 to 120 compressions per minute. After performing CPR for about 2 minutes, usually about 5 cycles of CPR compressions and 2 breaths, if help has not arrived, call EMS while staying with the infant. The HA emphasizes the cell phones are available everywhere now and most have a built-in speaker phone. Get an AED if you know where one is. Use and follow AED prompts when available while continuing CPR until EMS arrives or the infant's condition normalizes. For two rescuer BLS for infants, meaning that there's another rescuer with you, tap their shoulder and talk loudly to the infant to determine if they're responsive. Then assess if they're breathing. If the infant does not respond and is not breathing or is only gasping, send the second rescuer to call 911 and get an AED. Feel for the infant's brachial pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If you cannot feel a pulse or you're unsure, begin CPR by doing 30 compressions followed by two breaths. If you can feel a pulse but the rate is less than 60 beats per minute, begin CPR. This rate is too slow for an infant. When the second rescuer returns, begin CPR by performing 15 compressions by one rescuer and two breaths by the second rescuer. If the second rescuer can fit their hands around the infant's chest, perform CPR using the two thumb encircling hands method. Do not press on the bottom end of the sternum as this can cause injury to the infant. Compression should be approximately 1.5 inches deep and at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Use and follow AED prompts when available while continuing CPR until EMS arrives or until the infant's condition normalizes. We're also going to just quickly run through the BLS algorithm for children and infants. So... High quality CPR consists of a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. The compression depth should be at least one third diameter of the chest. Allow chest recoil between compressions and minimize interruptions in chest compressions. Try not to overventilate. So if you have an unresponsive infant or child without normal respirations, it's important to activate the emergency response system and get an AED and defibrillator. After you do that, you should assess the pulse within 10 seconds. So if there's a definite pulse, then you're going to go ahead and administer one breath every three seconds. Add compressions if pulse remains less than 60 per minute with pulse perfusion despite adequate oxygenation and ventilation. And then you should assess, reassess the pulse every two minutes. If there is no pulse, then one rescuer, you should begin cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths. If there's two rescuers, begin cycles of 15 compressions and two breaths. Once an AED is brought to scene, you should use the AED. The AED will assess for a shockable rhythm. If the rhythm is shockable, then you're going to administer one shock and resume CPR immediately for two minutes. If there is not a shockable rhythm, resume CPR immediately for two minutes. Assess the rhythm every two minutes and continue until more advanced help arrives or until the individual shows signs of return of circulation. Don't forget we offer online PAL certification on our site. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time, with an online course, or in an in-classroom setting. You can find a link to our course in the description. Thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. We hope you found it helpful. Um, we will catch you next time.